Many thanks for staying with us here on News Today. To some more stories now, the Millennium Development Authority has denied claims there has been a presidential directive to halt all activities in relation to the partial privatization of the Electricity Company of Ghana until further notice. Director of Communications and Outreach at Meda, Pamela Jamsin, told MajorOnline.com the claims attributed to the Secretary of the ECG Senior Staff Association, Patrick Benyami, are untrue. In a press statement subsequently, Meda clarified that no such directive was discussed at the last meeting which was held at the Flagstaff House. Mayor Chief of Staff Julius Deborah has also denied issuing any statement suspending a concession arrangement to cede management of state power distributor ECG to a private company for 25 years. He's been speaking in the Upper West Region. Again, there is a proposed story on my journal online attributed to me to have directed that Muda should suspend all negotiations relating to ECG. I wish to say here categorically that I've been in the upper west for the past three days and I've not issued a list. To begin with, government have not stated that it is privatizing ECG. That's the first thing that we all need to understand. What government has been talking about is a way of reforming, you know, by signing up to the compact. And in the long run, the objective is how best to improve on the performance of ECG. So I hear that state clearly, categorically, that Julius by the chief of staff, has never directed Mida to suspend any privatization of ECG because to begin with, there's no privatization of ECG. Thank you. In other news, uh, General Secretary of the Governing National Democratic Congress, Johnson Esed Nketi, has dispelled rumors that uh, President John Drumani Mahama wants Nadoli Kali Member of Parliament, Alban Suman Bagbin, defeated in the upcoming elections. Johnson Esed Nketi said such rumors can only be peddled by traitors in the NDC who are doing the bidding of the opposing New Patriotic Party. Johnson Esed Nketi made the comment during the campaign tour of the Upper West Region on Wednesday. Rafiq Salam has more in the following report. Chief of Staff Julius Debra was joined on the second day campaign tour of the Upper West Region at Nodolo Kaleo constituency by the General Secretary of the NDC, Asir Rinketia, where Alban Babin has been the Member of Parliament for close to 24 years. The Majority Leader in Parliament had a first relationship in the early years of John Mohammed's tenure, accusing the President of running a family and friends government. The relationship appears to have been repaired after Babin was appointed into government by the president. With barely three months to go for the December elections, there are reports that the president is keen to have Alban Babin defeated, who the NDC General Secretary Asedu Nketia insisted were not true. He accused members of the MPP for using traitors in the NDC to cause his affection for President Mahama. It is not everybody who wants battle in parliament. And those who dread his name want to find ways of removing him from parliament. But if they come from time, they know they will be defeated. So they are coming through as the NDC member. The NDC, the name they share in parliament is back. categorically denied that President Mahama is not sponsoring any candidate in the Nodolo Keleo constituency to see the Nodolo Keleo legislature. President Mahama sends me to tell you that those who are moving around, that it is in his interest to see Biden out of Biden, they are not any people. They are not. And President Mahama is not sponsoring any candidate in the Nodolo Keleo here. I 
Ata sa afuna skira afuna kati nung maafe la drum mo Apologies for that sound clip there, but away from that, let's turn our attention to the opposition patriotic party and the flag bearer of the NPP, Nanada Dango Kufuado, is today continuing his tour of the Greater Accra region as he heads to Ningo Prom Prom. The NPP flag bearer spent the whole of yesterday touring the Ga East district where Chief of Damiabra, Ni Kwame Otoku, who appealed to him to establish a senior high school in the constituency if given the mandate. He said the intervention will help end the stress children in the community go through to access second cycle education. Now, he also charged Nana Kufado to continue with ongoing projects of the governing NDC if he succeeds in unseating President John Dramani Mahama in the December polls. <laughs> What we want from Nanado is for him to provide us with a senior high school when he gets the nod for the presidential seat. If we had a senior high school here, the children would have stopped moving to other cities to attend school. There's nothing concrete, socially advantageous in Ghana today, which is not the work of the MPP. Everything good you see in Ghana today is a result of the MPP's good works. The educational system is my concern. That is why we want to have a good educational system in Ghana. No gaga at our secondary school, Baba Nakabadi, Polele, Kenya Wabi, Numa Wadi, Kenya Wabi, Numa Yabaka, Baba Wadi, Mofi. It is what is any or not by now. Ghana knew of the air. We're not a poor country. Yeah, 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 for Ghana. We are going to make sure that everyone, rich or poor, will be able to go to school with the free senior high school policy. Help me become president and I will get the chance to help you. Well, we do know that the NPP flag bearer is today continuing the story of the Greater Cry region and he's headed to Ningo Prom Prom. Well, currently he's at Adan. Let's take you live now to the grounds for the very latest on what's happening there. <laughs> We are assuring him that in the advanced stage, we will never experience any problems to fall as what the particular politics is concerned. PPPJO, NDCJO, SSPJO, DDDJO, COBA, WAMAMBU MOTUI, WAKO MASENI, NYEBA JOMMI, WANGEN WASI WOJAN. We should not have to them, BNPPP, CGD, APD, Africa. <laughs> The police can, can uh, affect the police. We know we have no problem in Adan. We are friends with the uh, police. Yes, yes. 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 Yes.
tue, ni ma bu tue, ni ma ye, ni ma hi, ni ma pe. So people are claiming that this is their wealth bank or this is their uh, whatever. But the people of Ghana are prepared to listen to whoever they make, make a decision. What happened? Mount 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 But there will be more election-related stories right here on your election headquarters at 2:30 uh, p.m. with Araba Kumsen on uh, right right here on the same channel. But away from that now, let's talk some other issues. And Ghana's cocoa industry has seen a sharp decline in production over the last few years. Cocoa farmers have complained about government inability to support the sector with the needed logistics to ensure a high turnover. Now, in a bid to restore the industry's lost glory, the Millennium Promise Alliance says it is introducing a number of development projects and other interventions to address the needs of these cocoa farmers. A component of the program will seek to strengthen the capacity of the agricultural extension officers through training and provision of working tools. Country Director Chief Nathaniel Ebo Nsako tells Joy News, Cocoa farmers deserve better than the perennial challenges they have faced over the years. As the world's leading producer of cocoa in times past, Ghana's cocoa production industry saw an increase in the number of cocoa farmers. The country benefited from the export of the product and factories were created to convert the cocoa into chocolate and other beverages, creating jobs for many. But the story has changed over the period after it lost its slot to Ivory Coast. Cocoa farmers have suffered largely as a result. Two issues stand out, sustainable production and favorable market prices. We are also looking at how best we are going to introduce I mean, uh, developmental projects that can address their needs. For example, you know that people refuse uh, postings to such hard to reach communities. They are mostly cut off from the uh, 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 urban centers where you can have all the access to healthcare, education, uh, telephony and all of that. So what we are seeking to do is to ensure that we introduce interventions and programs that can fill and address the gap. And one of the important components of the intervention that we have introduced is what we call the Kuyapa, um, 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 Kuyapa Sustainable uh, um, Agricultural System where we are seeking to strengthen already existing structures. For example, they do have the agric extension offices in place, but they are very small. So what we want to do is that to identify local people within the communities, give them the requisite training as agric extension officers, and then equip them with the incentive as well as the tools that they need to work with, and push them back, I mean, deploy them within the catchment areas to provide support for the uh, uh, farmers. The Climate change and its looming effects also give cause for worry to stakeholders. We realize that we always go out, and when we go out, we find out that some of the farmlands have been eroded, meaning that the fertility of the land has been going down. And if the fertility of the land has been going down, then by all means, cocoa production also will go down. So we are encouraging our farmers to use all possible means to defend the land from being degraded. Another thing that we also talk about, especially is the climate change, which has come as a result of our own the nature. So what we are also encouraging our farmers to do is to first try as much as possible to grow trees in their cocoa farms so that it will become as a, to give shade into their cocoa making the land always rich than always relying on this artificial or fertilizers. That is Ghana's cocoa board is targeting 1.5 million tons of cocoa production in the next few years to help the country regain its position on the world market. Kriapa cocoa farmers have been advised to cooperate in the pursuit of effective control of pests and diseases and enhanced environment management. That's the watching news today here on your Joy News Channel Multi TV. It's also available on your Go TV Channel 144 and your DSTV Channel 421.